I've got three Halloween Hocus Pocus inspired DIYs for you today. My name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. First up is a boo sign and I'm taking these three wooden blocks that I got from Dollar Tree. And the only thing you just have to be careful with the Dollar Tree wooden blocks because some are hollow and some are not hollow. And so um, if that matters to you when you're making a project, just be sure and check the cubes that you're getting. I'm giving them a coat of Rust-Oleum's Chalk Ultra Matte Paint in the color white. Of course, it's my favorite. And now I am just distressing it with some distressing ink, just kind of giving some dimension and added color all around the edge of the cube. Pretty simple, pretty easy. And then I'm taking these stickers. I got these from the Dollar Tree. And see, you don't always have to use a Cricut. You can use Dollar Tree stickers and it comes out just as cute. And I'm just attaching them to the front as you see here. And then I'm gonna take my distressing ink again because you guys know, I, I like, I mean, I don't like it super distressed, but I do like it looking, especially for a Halloween project, I do like it looking a little bit worn, a little bit, you know, loved, more vintage vibe to it, you know. And this is how it turned out. I think it turned out really cute. Oh, you can see Captain in the background there. <laughs> but anyway, I think it turned out really pretty cute. And this is one way that you can display it. And you can also display it vertically. So it makes the sign versatile. I, did, versatile. I didn't glue them together, like the cubes together, because I wanted to be able to kind of move it around just like this. Today's video is part of an open challenge playlist. It's called, It's Just a Bunch of Hocus Pocus. It's hosted by Freckled Mom DIY and DIY from House to Home. Now this next project is gonna be a garland. And, it, oh, hello, Captain. It's gonna be a ghost garland. And so I'm giving these ghosts a coat front and back of Rust-Oleum's Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color Linen. I'm distressing all three ghosts with my distressing ink, just going around the edges. And comparing them side by side, you can see a difference. So I just like to kind of go around the edges of each of the ghosts just to kind of make it stand out more. Then I'm gonna go in with my paint pen and just get any edges on the sides of the ghost in case it didn't cover well. And then I'm gonna outline the eyes and the mouth. And although it's not like super obvious, you can tell the difference, especially when you put them side by side. And don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you did and hit that bell for notifications. Now I'm going in with some fluorescent glow in the dark paint, just kind of going around the eyes and then going around the ghost and just adding some little squiggly lines in the middle of the ghost to kind of just stand out. Now I didn't show you this part, but that strand of beads is actually from the Dollar Tree. I found it at a Dollar Tree and I think I grabbed up six or seven of them and I just spray painted them black and I just added the ghost in. I only added three ghosts. I wanted it kind of simple, kind of rustic looking and I love how it turned out. My friend Sarah from Jujubee DIY and I have a crafting group on Facebook. It's called Crafty DIYs on a Budget and it's just all about crafts and, and things that we make. And if you are a crafter, I would love it if you would join the group. The link is gonna be in the description box below. Next up are these candles. And this is my Hocus Pocus inspired DIY for today. So if you'll notice, it had this Dia de los Muertos on 
like a sticker kind of thing and I was trying to scrape it off because the, the outer sticker came off pretty easily and Captain's inspecting as well. But anyway, I'm taking my little, um, I don't know, scraper thing and trying to get it off. And then I take some rubbing alcohol and y'all, it came right off. And so I, I couldn't find three white candles. I just found these and I thought, oh my goodness, I'm not gonna be able to do the craft. But yeah, here it is and it all came off easily. Now I'm taking various colors of the felt. I got this felt from Hobby Lobby. It was 33 cents, but it was on sale, 50% off. So I found this pattern just on the internet. You can, you can find a ton of places. Just Google Sanderson Sisters and, or Hocus Pocus and it'll come up. And so I just shrunk it down to the size that I needed and I'm cutting out um, the hair and the, and the top of their outfit, as you can see here. And it would have been better if I had maybe glued it down or at least pinned it to the felt. I think it would have helped it just a little bit more, but it really wasn't that hard to cut out. Just a little bit of fussy cutting, you know, just getting those details done. Now that I have everything cut out, I'm just trying to see where I'm going to place it. And I had printed out an extra template so I could kind of see where I was going to put it. Put some hot glue, carefully pressed it down, and just kind of trying to see where that collar is supposed to go. And then I do the same for the other two. It's really such a super, it's really an easy craft. And now it's basically just finishing up the other two candles and just using my little template as a guide and gluing everything down. And this is how they turned out. I think they turned out super cute. Now, I don't know how it will work if I light the candles, like if that will heat up the hot glue that I used. I don't even plan on, on lighting these. In fact, I'm actually gonna be giving them away as a gift. So, um, as far as decor, I think they turned out great. And I just appreciate you guys so much for watching my videos liking, commenting, and subscribing. It just it just means so much to me. And I really do appreciate you being part of the Our Gray House family. And don't forget, if you want to follow me on Instagram or here on YouTube, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye!